Hi everyone, this is Ria Gupta and I'm from NIFT College and also associated with PL Design School. So as I've said earlier, today I'll be giving you demo about prism, cuboid and pyramid. So we'll start with cuboid first. For cuboid you have to make the sides equal as a rectangular 3D structure. So you have to start with making a rectangular So this is your basic structure uh, for the uh, cuboid. So you have to extend it a little further. For that you have to make another rectangle extending. And then another piece. It's just like cube but you know in a rectangular shape. Just like your cube, you have to make the side panels for this as well. So this is our shape for the cuboid and do not forget to give the flaps. As I said earlier, the flaps should be placed at the alternative sides. All of the instructions about making the flaps and cutting the pieces and uh, sticking the pieces together have been mentioned in the previous video. So this is how you are going to make your flaps for cuboid. I have already have a cut piece of this one in a larger form. So this is how your cuboid is going to look after being cut. These are the flaps. So you have to fold it in the manner as I've mentioned earlier and then stick them together. So we'll be using this glue again. So this is how our cuboid is going to look after it's being stuck together. It's a very simple shape. You can use it anywhere. For example, you can use it if you're making a robot, right? So you can use it for the legs of the robot and then you can maybe make a pyramid for the knees and you can explore a lot of things with these shapes. You will get extra points for this later. So now we are going to start with our prism. For prism, it's very uh, necessary to, it's just like a triangle, you know, a rectangle with a triangle inside. So you know about the prism already. So we'll start with uh, making a rectangular shape. And the rectangle has to be of equal dimensions. You can choose any dimensions you want as per your design. So as a triangle have three sides, you just have to make three rectangles for this. And then we'll start with making the triangle. For that, you have to make sure that it is an equilateral triangle. For that, you have to mark the sides of the center most rectangle and then extend it a little bit. So, you have to make sure that the side of this rectangle, which is equal for all the rectangles, have to be equal as the sides of all the sides of triangle. So, from point this point to this point you have to measure two centimeters as I've had for the rectangle and then join it at the midpoint of this line same goes with the other side
so this is your final shape again for this shape also you have to make flaps at the alternative sides of the pyramid uh, sorry prism yeah so i have this piece ready already so this is how it will look after the piece is cut and then you have to make the folds and then stick it together So this is how your pyramid is going to look after it's ready and done like this so now we are going to start with our last structure which is a pyramid so as you know you must have heard about the pyramid of giza it has four sides a triangular three structure which has four sides actually on the top it has four side and the bottom totally it counts like five sides so you have to start with a square which is the base of the pyramid so you have to decide the measurements of the square as per your need i'm taking 3 cm for sure right now so this is a base from where we have to start and for this also we have to make the mid points so that we can make an equilateral triangle all of the sides so we'll extend it outwards just make a light line for that and then because the size of the square is 3 cm the size of the triangle also has to be 3 cm this is how the shape will look like and for this also you have to make the flaps at alternative places This is the piece which comes out after cutting the pyramid. So you have to make the folds and then stick it together. So this is done. This is how your pyramid looks like after getting finished. It is a very beautiful structure as I feel it can make a lot of different things if you combine it together. We'll give you a few examples on the side. So yeah, I would like to remind you about this uh, free 7 days situation test preparation that Pehel Bangalore is giving uh, which is from 15 February to 22 February for registration you have there is a link given down below and we'll come up with very uh, new videos again so until then goodbye stay connected and subscribe us